Good morning. So I'm going to do just a quick look. It's going to be a pink and brown look. And um, let's get started. Today I'm going to be using the Lancome Color Design Palette. And it's the um, Sensational Effects. I don't know if that's the name of it. But it has brown, pink, gold, and a white. Going to be using the brown and the pink in the palette. So, just going to take this, the brown, start with the brown, put it in my crease. So I have a testimony to share with you guys. Yesterday, my sister and I were going to the, to the um, store. And... Um, for some reason, we had to go back and forth to the house several times. And the last time we went to the house, we picked up um, one of my nephews and crossed the street and got in the car. As soon as I got in the car, a man got hit by a car. His body bounced off the car and slammed onto ours. And immediately, you know, panic is like, oh my God, call the police, call an ambulance, somebody help, you know. And, um, I mean, the young man, his head was gashed open. He was talking about, oh, my God, I'm going to die. Just everything. And first part of my testimony is that that could have been me. Had I waited a millisecond longer to get in the car and close the door or to cross the street, I could have been the one laying down there on the ground. Um... So we began to pray. My sister got out the car like a mighty morphing Power Ranger or something. Got out the car, went around to the young man, was laying hands on him, praying for him, everything. And um, everybody else, of course, was just looking around. It was another young man who came across the street and started to pray. And it's just power in prayer, you know, because as my sister began to pray for the young man, and lay hands on him, I got a piece that he was going to be all right because he was complaining of his leg. I mean, he was a heavy man and his body bounced off the car and onto ours and his head was gashed open. I mean, it was something that I've never seen before in my life. And so um, I just got such a piece after she was done or, you know, while she was down there because he kept saying, oh, my God, I'm going to die. Oh, my God, I'm going to die. And, um, so yeah, it's just power and prayer. And the young man who hit the guy, he didn't run or anything. And you could tell he was afraid. And I looked out the window because I couldn't get out because he was pinned under my door. And, um, I looked out the window and my sister over there praying for the man who hit him. Because he was very afraid. He was very afraid. You can tell that something like that had never happened, but it was a natural mistake. You know, when you're traveling west and the sun is going down, it's blinding. So he said that he didn't see the man crossing the street. And I can believe that because, I mean, I've been there where you can't, you really can't see. Um, so I just want to thank the Lord on this morning and share that with you guys that God is one, a protector. Because he protected me. And he does a thing to save people. Because the whole block came out and saw my sister praying and saw that that boy was going to be alright. So those who may not have believed was able to believe on, on yesterday. They had some type of belief on yesterday if they never believed in their life. Because the way that man got hit by the car, he shouldn't have got up. He should not have gotten up. And uh, one of the neighbors came by and thanked my sister, who never speaks to us. And she was just saying how her son died a few years ago. And when she saw the young man laying in the street, she thought about her son. And she just thanked my sister for being there praying because nobody was doing that for her son. And, um, you know, people who didn't believe yesterday saw the power of prayer. So I just praise the Lord for protecting me and my nephew 
and for still you know showing up and showing out it's a it's sad that that had to happen to the guy in order for people to see a miracle but I mean it, that's how it is sometimes so I, I hope that they I don't even got a hope I know that all is well with the young man and uh, yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys on this morning my God is good and then people tell me they don't believe in situations in life occur that would cause you to lose faith in the Lord but daily he shows you that nothing can happen by chance nothing can happen you know without his power without his guidance without his authority over it um so i know some people probably like well if god knew why would they let the guy get hit you know why would he allow the man to get hit because he had a greater plan dude gonna be all right he needed everybody in the community to see who he was you know so I'm going to go in with the pink on my lid now. So yeah, I just glory the Lord on that. And that's my testimony I wanted to share with you guys. So now we're going to get back to the tutorial. So I'm just packing the uh, pink on my lid until I get the, the vibrancy that I desire. I really wish I had a deeper pink so you can actually see his pink because it's probably looking champagne-ish. Um, but it's a pastel -y. I guess you would call this frosty pink. Um, I wanted to go by Sephora and drop off my application, but I have to get on the bus today and it's raining. And I just don't think that's going to happen. So I'm going to go back in with um, the Sigma Fluffy Brush and blend out that edge over the top. You can always hold your head back like that and make sure your lines are seamless. Like that. Then I'm going to go in, since I have a frost on my eyelid, I'm going to go in with a matte shade as my highlight. I'm going to go to my Inglet palette and just use this uh, light brown oh, cream color. I don't want to move too much. I notice when I move too much on the camera, it gets uh, blurry. So I'm just packing that in up there. Oh, it's falling down. Just pack it on. As you guys know, I like to do mostly padding motions so that I get the best color payoff. So I pack it on until I get the consistency that I want or the color that I want and then I'll sweep and blend. Going back to the medium shadow brush from the what is it, studio tools back into the brown and just darkening that up where the the fallout occurred. I'm going to blend that out again. I was thinking about doing a face of day or look of the day because a lot of people got face of the day. I don't want to be a stealer of that title, but a look of the day and posting it on my Facebook chat page. I made a Facebook page. It's Makeup by Chantal. Um, you type that in and it'll be me. And I was going to post it up there and then let people decide on what look to do. Since I can't get it right to do a video every day or every other day or whatever. So tell me what you guys think about that. <laughs> 